All right, guys, we're going to try this part two again. So hopefully this one turns out okay. <clears throat> All right, so in part one, we went over um, how to set it up with the TCI interfacing, where to adjust the TCI audio um, on transmit, how that only shows up when it goes into transmit mode. So you can adjust the slider for TCI audio gain. I got an email from Christo um, with a couple things that he suggested. Um, Christo being uh, Lima Zulu 2 Hotel Victor, the developer. Um, so we're going to kind of go over what he suggested and put those to use. And I think he also, in an email on the form, I think he wanted to kind of touch base on where to set up the filtering. Um, if you noticed in that first video, I had filtering set for receiving CQ only messages. So, all right, let's get over to uh, the software and go over those. Oops, sorry. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit here. Okay. So we'll kind of touch base on everything once again real quick. Um when you download the software, again, I am using the Alpha V3 EESDR release for the Sun radios. Uh, this is the Alpha 0 0.8.1. Um, and then I am using MSHV version 2.58, the 64-bit version for my 64-bit windows. So that said, um, options, sound settings... TCI output for the output device, TCI input for the input device. That's what you're going to select. Again, make sure that in the TCI software, you'll have to uh, turn off TCI, right-click, go to TCI port. Um, you can only adjust this when it's off and not green, so you have to right-click and turn it off. Um, you want to change the port by default. It's 50001. You're going to want to change that again for all the TCI programs currently to 40001. So uh, once you do that, you can re-enable TCI and you should be good to go there. So uh, just kind of a quick tip on that again. All right, so once you have your sound set, you're going to go into options, interface control and you should be able to connect um, your server port excuse me your server port is the IP address um, of the local machine um, internally this is the loop back IP address 127.0.0.1 you could also try localhost in here some TCI programs like the like the wording localhost uh, some of them actually look for the IP address if it's a local machine that you have the TCI protocol running on and the software running on, you can use 127.0.0.1 uh, is, again, that is the local loopback IP address. Again, your port number 40001. And forgive me beforehand if I start a sneezing fit here. I can feel one coming on, so hopefully I can make it through this real quick before that actually happens. Um... His suggestion for PTT method uh, when you use the TCI is via cat command. And you want to use the use selected constant TX audio filtering for FT8 and FT4. Uh, your defaults are in here. The um, one other thing to, to mention um, well, I lost my train of thought here. Um, underneath the, uh, sorry, underneath the macros, you want to, is where you're going to set your uh, call sign up and your grid square. Make sure you change your region to the right one. Again, this software does support uh, different contests that, that are now including um, some of the digital modes, FT4 and FT8. So you, if you're running one of those contests, you can select it in here, uh, change your whatever you need to exchange to say and uh, you'll be good to go there I, I know what it was I was going to mention again 
some of these modes are not supported with TCI protocol because TCI protocol currently in the 1.5 release does not support 44,000 kilohertz audio sampling. Um, that's something that's going to remain to be seen if that takes place. The current version I know currently that's in the alpha release of V3 is TCI version 1.5. So I don't know if that's going to change, but keep in mind uh, that some of these modes will not work with TCI. Um, and I mentioned those in the first video. Okay, so he wanted to touch base on where um, decoding uh, options are. So decode list options, you're going to go here, go to decode list filters. Currently, I have mine to only show CQ calls. I'm ignoring everything else. Um, so I've checked this box and you can get specific in here if you want to um, change whatever you need to in here. Um, if you're, you know, only wanting to hide uh, or only wanting to see stuff from, let's say, um, Europe, um, you would hide all, everything in here with the exception of Europe. And then only those European calls would uh, would show up. So this is the hide section. These are what you want to show, only show. I've got the CQ messages only. Um, so you have a few options here, and then you can be more detailed into what you put in here and hit enable. Once you do these, you must check the box down here in the bottom left-hand corner for use filters. If this is not checked, this filtering scheme will not work. So make sure that you check the use filters. Um, and then apply changes and you're, um, you're good to go. If you want to remove all your filters, you can hit set default and it'll turn off all the filtering. So I think that's what, uh, Christo wanted to kind of mention in here. Um, okay. Two things to note that he suggested in the first video that he watched was that I should be using and you should, everybody should be using the audio flattening here you want to check this box for audio flattening on the display and the second thing was he mentioned that my audio gain on receive was set low um, and you would raise that over here on the RX slider he suggests that on your decodes um, you can pick probably your strongest signal and you want to put these so they're in the green. Um, so right now I'm kind of just touching in the green here on a few of these. Um, let's see what happens on this. Go around. There you go. So you want this section to be in the green. Uh, blue is a little light. Green is recommended. And of course, uh, red is you've got the gain structure turned up too high. So thanks, Christo, for pointing those out. I wasn't really paying attention to that in the first video I did. All right. Um, that said, again, when you set this up, um, options, sound, TCI, TCI for input output, read control, port, uh, you're going to use uh, TCI. So server is going to be 127.0.0.1 or local host, your port number. Um, the PCI, uh, you want to change this in here. You can set up two instances of this to run receiver one, receiver two, um, or and, and go from there. The on transmit again on transmit, you can only see the gain of TCI and transmit um, level. You're going to want to switch your in V3, go to mic meter. And then, where am I at here? Okay. Um, you're going to go to mic meter, and then you can go to tune, and you're going to adjust. This will change the TCI, adjust it so that you show roughly zero dBm. Again, that only shows up when you're in transmit or tune. So that's the only time you can adjust that TCI protocol. Otherwise, when it goes back to receive, it's going to go to your default mic input, 
uh, which, you know, for me, I've got that set up for mic two as my default. So watch it because if you're not paying attention, you'll accidentally adjust the wrong setting for um, which input you're really using. So again, you can go into tune mode, set the display to uh, mic meter, go into tune mode and adjust adjust your uh, your gain structure here. So I had to come up to five and a half to get this at roughly zero dB. So there you go. All right, so that should take care of, I think everything that Christo mentioned um, in this version um, or in this uh, part two. If I missed anything, Christo, please shoot me an email and let me know and I'll redo the video again. So um, things to touch base that he touched base on, uh, audio flattening should be turned on, receive gain, you want it to be using a slider, you want to get this into the green area on receive for the best uh, performance on decoding. And um, where the filtering is for what you're actually decoding. Um, it's going to be underneath your decode list options, then decode list filters, and you're going to set that in here. And then make sure whatever you've changed in here, make sure that you check the box for use filters or it's not going to work. And to make sure he had apply changes, obviously, at that point. Um, I think that's it. So hopefully this video clears up a couple things. Uh, thanks again, Christo, for the great software. And thank you for watching and pointing out um, the things that I missed and things that weren't set right. Appreciate it very much. And uh, keep up the good work and hope everybody has uh, a great Sunday. And we'll do another video here uh, sometime really soon. Take care. This is N8SDR.